Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed rock elementals in the Badlands. And we hit level 45, and then we made our way to Booty Bay. Today, we're going to be doing a quest with Caitlyn the Blade of the Blackwater Raiders. Well met. Answer him's key. My dagger, what are you? Some sort of comedian? What? Do you just want me to repeat the story of how I've gone from the best knife fighter in Booty Bay to the laughing stock of Piratum? I lost a knife fight to one of the Bloodsail Buccaneers. Bunch of right bastards they are. And he took my blade as spoils. It's not as though I can get by as a knife fighter with insults and a sharp tongue alone. Pretty boy Duncan. My father sent you? I'd have thought that old codger would have given up on me by now. It wasn't really his fault I ran off. He just shouldn't have expected I'd be willing to live a boring life, reading over musty books and associating with gray-haired, stiff-backed, stuffy mages. If you need my dagger, you'll have to get it back from Pretty Boy Duncan. One of the Bloodsail Buccaneers put something tween his shoulders, and I'm sure he'll give it up. All right. Safe travels. So looks like we're going to go fight Pretty Boy Duncan again. And I think today we may fight Tethys as well. So let's, uh, let's get out of here. It's too bad we uh, left all of the bruise weed back at home in the bank. Is there a bank in Booty Bay? I don't think there is. It's only in Ratchet. I know right over there, that's not a bank. That's the auction house. I'm pretty sure. We'll check anyways, why not? Because you can uh, actually add the Strong Troll's Blood Potion. On top of uh, all the other three that we use. It's a banker, oh my gosh. So lucky. Alright, so that should be more than enough. Right back! Alright, so let's, uh, we're gonna do all four today. That's gonna be the plan. So we're gonna be getting six health every five seconds for one hour. We'll have our fortitude up, our stamina up by 120, our agility by 15. And our armor by 250. Alright, so let's go see Pretty Boy Duncan. Last time we were here, we were having a rough time with these Blood Sail Buccaneers. Hopefully, this time around, it won't be as bad. The thing is, they're only level 40 now, so I'm probably just going to completely wreck them. Hopefully. Alright, so we got our poisons up. I guess we'll have a bite. Do I have a bite to eat? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how tough these guys are. They're not tough, we're not eating. Yeah, they're not tough. Wow, we haven't been to Booty Bay in a long time. It's been a while. Alright, so we're getting some more silk cloth. I am going to be saving some for a quest in the future. Give a, a dwarf stuck in an outhouse of toilet paper. I'm out of range. Nice he's tied to that poison. There we go, we're getting some mage weave, that's good. 
can actually make a decent amount of heavy silk bandages, but I guess we'll save it until we get more than a 20 stack. Get rid of this patrolling mage. I can't do this. There he is, pretty boy Duncan. Hanging out on the coast. I'll bandage up. I think we could probably pull him and this guy and just completely wreck them. Alright, never mind. We'll just pull him instead. We've got some strangled kelp down there. Make sure we pick that up. Last time I was here, I was like running away from like everybody. And now we're just completely wrecking all of them. This goes to show you how like a couple of levels can do. I think we were like level 41 or 40 last time we were here. So we're going to play it safe. We'll deal with this final mage. And then it'll just be us. The pretty boy Duncan. She actually hit us pretty hard there. Alright, I guess we'll eat our final frog leg stew. And then it is time for us to get the knife back. Let's take a screenshot of him here. Try to get a good one. One thing about Night Elf screenshots, you're so much taller than everybody. So you're looking down on everyone. Like, if you were a gnome, the screenshots would be, like, so much different. You'd be looking up at every single NPC in the game. Alright, so Pretty Boy Duncan's gonna get completely wrecked here. We got Caitlyn's Blade. Nice. I never knew, like, why or who Pretty Boy Duncan was or what his part in the story of Azeroth is about, but now I know. He's a knife fighter, and he stole a blade from Kaelin. All right, so we're not going to go back right away. We are going to head out and fight an elite raptor by the name of Tethys. And if we defeat him, we will get the raptor hunter tunic. I hope we can do it. It's going to be tough. Got to make sure we switch our uh, our chest piece though. Got to put on the the Raptor Bane armor to fight the, the elite Raptor Tethys. So we get 30 plus attack power for fighting beasts.
Also, PS5 is, or PlayStation is raising the price of PS5s by 10% in pretty much every other country around the world except for the United States of America. <laughs> Gotta love inflation. They're like, and what they said, it's not, it was like a little speech about, you know, times are tough, inflation, yada, 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 you know? So, you know what? We're raising the price of PS5s everywhere except for the United States. I was like, come on, man. And I wondered, I'm like, why Why did the United States get, you know, don't have the 10% the increase? And I guess it's because of the, the strength of the American dollar. Because it is the, the world's uh, reserve currency. The funny thing is they were like naming off continents and stuff and they're like and Canada where I'm from and I'm like damn it <laughs> I'm thinking I'm wrong I'm not even gonna buy a ps5 probably I don't think I will you can pretty much get all the games on PC I think consoles are really only worth it if there's like an exclusive you really want to buy or there's like you know, or, or your friends play on it. And it's like the only time consoles are worth getting. Also, Twitch is now allowing um, streamers to broadcast on other platforms like YouTube and Facebook and all that. Because I guess they're sick of uh, losing all of these, uh, all their like top streamers to YouTube. So now they're just going to let them all stream on uh, Twitch. If they want, there's no exclusivi exclusivity exclusivity anymore. <laughs> I got trouble saying that. So it's kind of cool. The only thing is you can't like multi-stream. Like they can't stream on YouTube and Twitch. Which is an interesting rule. I need to get closer. And if you're like uh, not, and this is only for people that are partnered. If you're not partnered, like you're an affiliate, or like you're not not even affiliate, doesn't apply to you. You can multi-stream and do whatever you want. Well, you can't do whatever you want, but you can stream wherever you want. That's for sure. And multi-stream. I think that's a smart move by them. All right, so now we gotta find Tethys. Oh, did we pick up the the strangle kelp? I think we didn't. Maybe I'll go back and get it. Nah, totally forgot. All right, so these raptors are, are level forty. I remember the last time we were running through here, I was pretty damn scared, but it's for five levels above these guys now. It shouldn't be that bad. I think Tethys is forty three. So we shouldn't have any trouble hitting him. But I'm going to go all out on him. We're going to craft a bunch of elixirs. Getting a fight with a the raptor. There he is. See him? 
do that yet. The Bleak Blue Raptor, 43 Elite. This is going to be a big fight. And I hope we win. I think Bag Thera would... Like, when we were fighting Bag Thera, I think that was a... a much tougher battle. But yeah, we got totally rocked by that Raptor. That Jungle Stalker. Okay, so let's start crafting these elixirs. And then we'll get a strong Trolls Blood Pot. Okay. Here we go. She'll have a bite to eat first. We got the Raptor's Bane armor on. Nice. Alright, so let's get all these elixirs going. Look at us go. We are powered up. Alright, we'll test on this guy first, see how much stronger we are. Got so many buffs. We're gonna go all out on this, uh, at this guy. Don't know if we should use evasion right away. Because he could enrage. I'm not sure if he enrages. I don't want any of these other raptors running into me. I'm slaying. I'm gonna slay this one too. I can't do Gotta be careful with these elite fights. So I don't really remember much about it. I don't even know if he like screams and then like a bunch of raptors come and help him. Like who knows? I can't do that. that could be the case too, so. We're just gonna eliminate as many raptors as we can. I remember some of these guys being screechers. I can't do that. Okay, we'll get rid of this one. And then we'll be good to go. I'm out of breath. Gaining a little bit of health, which is good. I can't do that. I don't have a target. All right, it's time. It's time to deal with Tethys. Let's so maybe we'll take a screenshot of him while. Uh, while he's walking up to us here. Did you look at that? Oh man. Just turned on us right at right at the last second. Don't move. No, oh, don't move. Oh we can see sees us. It's like we're on the Discovery Channel out in the wild in a dangerous wildlife all right so here we go guys this is it okay we're gonna use the uh, blue flurry okay. 
doing damage, or so is he. I think we stunned him there. Okay. He'll have evasion. And blind. And vanish. Pretty low right now, but... Okay, now we use evasion. There we go, he's dead. And there we go, got the Talon. Death is... How about that? So it looks like he doesn't do much. He didn't have any debuffs. Just beats the crap out of you. Not too shabby, but... I think they could have gave him, like, an Enrage at the end. I didn't really have to save my, uh... My evasion at all. I could have just popped everything. It's too far away. We were lucky we got a, a mace gun proc. Which was good. Now it is time to make our way up to Nessingwary's expedition. First, we got to get across the, the water here. Got to make sure we stay away from Grumgall. So this is the the chest we are going to get. We're going to get the Raptor Hunter tunic. 117 armor, 4 strength, 3 agi, 16 stamina. Much more stamina than the current chest we are wearing. Um, I don't think it's as good like when fighting beasts, so I think this is still worth keeping. If you want to do a little bit more damage, but this su the survivability on this is much better. And then we will be done with Nessingwary's expedition, unless we want to uh, try to get the gun or the or the bow, which could be a useful stat stick for us, depending on what the stats are. I don't really remember, but we'll see after this. Got here purple lotus, wild steel bloom. Yeah, we're gonna get that. I think the purple lotus could level us up if we're. I think we're pretty close to 300. Yeah, we're at 298. We may go down and give that a try. Hopefully, we don't pull too many murlocs. I think we'll be okay. Question is, is it underwater? No. We got here a 37 Murloc. It would suck to be trapped in here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Imagine jumping in this water. Hardcore. You need to know that there's uh, Murlocs under here? Oh man. It's so scary. <laughs> That's death. You go in that water, you don't know the murlocs are there, you're done. Alright, so we're at 299 herbalism, one more level. And we have uh, maxed out our herbalism. 
And really, we're just going to be hunting for um, herbs that we need for alchemy. Got a, got a ways to go leveling this up, though. It's going to take us some time. gold thorn in there. Yeah, we're gonna get that. Is it in the back? What's inside? Ooh. Danakina, the warlock, has died at level 7 in Dunmaro. Her last words were grats. Hopefully we don't die here with all these trolls. I'm gonna try to pick it. We'll see if my like level. Yeah, it looks like my level is really damn high. It's the only way we were able to get that. Or, or we could have fought our way through, but at least we don't have to, to do that now. And they died to a large crag boar. Yeah, those guys are fast. Hard to run from those guys. That's a quick death, you know? Level 7 ain't bad, you can get back to 7 pretty quick. Okay, so we got our sprint back up. See how our coin's doing? We're getting pretty close to 40 gold. No. How goes the hunt for Tethys? Tracked her all the way back to camp, did you? Master 007. The Raptor Slayer. Has a nice ring to it, eh? It's a lot of XP. 007, you are a hunter worthy of our company. From the battlefields of Lordaeron to the deepest jungle, I have rarely witnessed such prowess with weaponry as you have demonstrated. You have killed the ferocious Sindel, the elusive Bagthera, and the treacherous Th Tethys. But the true prize is the head of King Bangalash. That white tiger is the reason I am here. I have had my sights on him for quite some time now. Kill King Bangalash and your hunting prowess is proven to be second to none. And then you get this gun which is completely useless for us because it doesn't even give us stats. Really good gun, though. If you're a hunter, you want this. For sure. Safe so there's, like, no reason for us to do that unless we want to just, you know... Help you find something? Make a little bit of coin. Alright, so let's put on this, uh... This armor here. Got a lot of health now. We got 2,228 health. And what else do we want to get rid of? We want to get rid of this chest. Purple Lotus, I guess we'll hold on to. Any other junk? Okay, that looks good. Raptor hide, yeah, all this stuff. This page. Kai Guards of Skirt, we want to keep Raptor Flush. And that's it. Looks pretty good for now. All right, so there we go. We're at 40 gold, 44 silver. We are getting pretty damn close to uh, being able to buy our mount. That is pretty exciting. Can't wait for that. It's been a while. A lot of running around. Oh my gosh. Oh. I forgot to... No, we forgot to have our hearth in Booty Bay, man. Okay, well... The episode is not ending here. We gotta get out of here. What's on your mind? I think we're going back to Booty Bay. I'm pretty sure, like, there's no other reason. Should I just fly all the way there? For seven silver? No. Off with you. No, we're heading back. We're gonna do the, the tram route. It's way better. 
I wonder what's faster. I, I don't know. It's probably faster just taking the... The griffin. But who knows. But yeah, guys, my bad. Forgot to set my hearth in Booty Bay. What a noob. It happens. This looks like we're going on a little journey. And you know what sucks about that? We're wasting valuable time on our elixirs. Trying to keep these up as long as I can. Because we only have so much uh, materials, guys. Especially for the strong troll's blood potion. I don't think I'll be using that that much. So we've got a whisper running RFD in a little bit. If you need it. Yeah, sorry that giving dungeons on this character. I would join I would join dungeons like if this was my second playthrough. Like not my first hardcore character. Then I would for sure run dungeons, but since it's my first, I'm uh playing it a little safe. As safe as I can. We almost died to a uh, DC. So. That was kind of rough. But yeah, we're making our way back to Booty Bay, guys. I'm not messing around. Is there anything we want here? Anything we want? I don't think so, because we were just in town last episode. Literally doing the same trip we did last episode. <laughs> But whatever. It is what it is. What these guys are talking about? Yeah. That's the thing. There's, uh... So supposedly there was going to be a Wrath of the Lich King... Like, hardcore. But, um... The fresh servers are both PvP. And supposedly there's only going to be two. And they're both PvP. So, um... Well, there's only two on release. So that kind of ruins it. Because you can't really do hardcore on a PvP server. Well, you can. But all it takes is just some, some griefer to kill you one time. And then there goes your journey, like, or, or like five of them, five rogues. You know, could you imagine that five undead rogues hanging out here in the tram? Boom, dead. There goes your journey. <laughs> They're all just sitting here on the on the benches, just waiting for noobs to come through. I used to actually gank people here on my undead rogue way back in the day. In the tram, because I always thought the tram was cool. And I thought it was even cooler being able to gank Alliance here, because there's no protection here. It's a great place for a rogue to come and gank people. There's no guards. Nothing. You can gank them on here, too, like on the train. <laughs> really good times. Another good spot that I used to gank was in, uh, was in Stormwind, actually. It's a little different though on retail. It's in Old Town. I used to gank in Old Town because there wasn't many guards there and there was a basement that you could go into. And I would just run down to the basement and vanish and I would just hide there and like I could eat there and there's no guards. You could just hang out in that basement and just get ready to go and then go back up and uh, slay some more lions. All right, so let's uh, go to Stormwood here. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna do something. So supposedly there's a VOD out for the hardcore community here. We're gonna have a VOD, maybe. I'm 
maybe they're gonna have a, a guild called Victor, a Horde Hardcore Guild. Horde Hardcore. There's too much stuff coming out, man. Like, I wanna do everything. I wanna be on the fresh server. I wanna level a DK. I wanna play Wrath. I wanna play Dragonflame. I wanna, I wanna level a Horde Hardcore character. There's too much stuff. Sucks that I gotta, like, choose. It'd be nice if everything was spread out, you know what I mean? Like, I think hardcore, like, if I was a hardcore guy, or, like, the leader of the hardcore community, you'd want to split up hardcore when the game's, like, in, like, a, a boring phase. You know? Like, after Wrath's been out for, like, you know, a phase or two. Or when SOM ends, I think that would be the best time. But we'll see what happens. I'm, I really like the hardcore community in, in, in WoW. Something that WoW needs. Well, I don't know if it needs it, because there's, <laughs> we don't have too many people. There was a lot of people into it at the beginning of Season of Mastery. I'd say there was a couple thousand. Maybe more than that. But yeah, it's, got, it's died down a lot. But hardcore leveling, it's like, it's, a, it's probably the funnest way to do two level, I would say. Especially after you've leveled multiple characters. I wonder if this is going to be on um, one of the fresh servers. Because I will be playing on the fresh, uh, on a fresh server. Well, I, <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I'm probably going to play on one King's Honor, friend. Like, it's hard for me to say no to that. Be careful. And it's coming out. There's only one. And uh, the thing that's kind of lame is that North America, we get it on the on the 30th, and then EU has to wait till the 31st. It's really lame for EU. So they gotta wait for DKs and uh, and the fresh server, while all of the uh, people in NA are just like, yeah, yeah, this is awesome. I hate when they do that. But I'm going to be taking advantage, so yeah, I'll be playing on the 30th. Can't wait for the 30th. It's going to be a lot of fun. But yeah, I'm not giving up on this character, that's for sure. I hope this... I hope this... Uh, one thing I hope is that this doesn't die, like the SOM hardcore scene. <laughs> I hope it doesn't like completely die, because it is nice to have a couple people doing it. You know, like a handful of us. I think that's what there is. There's like a... There's a couple dozen of us doing this. Maybe a little bit more than that. Oh, there's a guy out there killing people's runs. Is his name Dash? Dash HC? I wonder what level that guy is. He's only 28. I got nothing to worry about. Just gotta stay away from that guy, though. Dash HC? Anybody that tries to ruin runs, you gotta stay away from that guy. <laughs> Because they're out there, and what they do is they just pull a bunch of stuff, and then they, like, lose aggro somehow, and then it re-aggros to you. As a paladin, you can do that pretty damn easily by just pulling a bunch of stuff, and then running next to somebody and just bubbling. 
or running near somebody and bubbling, and sometimes it'll it'll re-aggro to you, like if you if they're if they're close. Yeah, I wonder what they'll do. Wow, there's Tethys. He's already alive again. Waiting for somebody else to come get him. You know it'd be cool? In like a hardcore server, if Blizzard ever had like a legitimate hardcore server where if you died, you're dead. Be cool if they, they like would tell you like how long the Elite's been alive for. I know sometimes it would be like Tethys been alive for you know, two days. Sometimes it would be like two minutes. But it would be interesting to see how long certain elites, you know, have been just hanging out in the world. So I assume Tethys has been, I don't know, probably, probably a couple days old. I think there's probably a decent amount of people trying to get that chest piece. Right, so yep, yeah, stay away from the the horde lightmaster. We gotta turn in this quest. We finally made it back to Booty Bay, guys. But it was a nice journey. What the heck? Hey there. Yeah, oops. Pretty boy Duncan. I'd never been beat before, you know, 007. Sure, I'd been cut. Can't get in a knife fight without that. But he just smacked me on my side of the head, on the side of the head, blacked me out. When I came to, my blade was gone. As much as my nickname might indicate, I still need a knife to fight. And for me, it has to be that one. You beat Duncan? I guess you aren't as wet behind the ears as you looked at first glance. I suppose that also means I shouldn't challenge you to a fight anytime soon. That's right. The Curse of the Tides. So you're looking for an altar of some sort. Well, I'm no expert on troll ruins like my father, but I have heard about a sunken troll city out near the island you're looking for. Maybe you should try there. You got my knife back for me, so I guess you can borrow it. But I want it back when you're done. Okay. So we have to uh, swim, which is, I'm not too much of a fan of. We only get like these cloth robes. Very well. Not sure if we'll do this quest. I'm trying to stay away from those elite murlocs and also diving underwater. Unless we get a, you know, a, a underwater breathing potion, then then I would give it a try. But guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.